welcome to lesson two of this topic of maths this week. This is where we're looking at bonds of 10 and also exploring numbers within 100, those bigger numbers. So I want to start our session with our number of the day maths up the right way. I want you to try today uh, 14 or 24. So after the video, have a go at doing 14 or 24. Write the number, put it in tally lines, getting quite big now. Dots for 14 or 24. Do an adding sentence here, two numbers that add together to make 14 or 24. And your part, part, whole model here, where you've got two numbers, one part, second part, where they add together to make the whole number of 14 or 24. Try and make this one different to your adding sentence if you can. So 14 or 24 is your number of the day. Right, looking at our 100 square, I am going to call out some numbers. Hopefully you've got yours in front of you as well. I'm going to call out some two digit numbers and I want you to point to them on your 100 square. Or if you want to, you can point to it on mine on your screen. All right, that's absolutely fine as well. So some two digit numbers and I want you to point to them where they are on the 100 square. Now remember, these are your single digit numbers to 10. These are your teen numbers. Sometimes they don't start with teens. So 11, 12 aren't a teen number as such, but they're in the teen section. So 13, 14, 15, they all become teen numbers. All right, so they start to become two digit numbers with 10, but then really along this line. All the ones that start with a 2 are your 20s, your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s up to 100. So try and remember whereabouts you're going to find a 30 number, okay? So where are the 30s? Beginning with 3, oh, 35. Makes it quicker. You don't want to have to stir up the whole 100 square and just think, where is that number? You want to kind of have an idea that, oh, she said 34, I'm going to go to where freeze in front, these are the 30s, 34, much quicker. So you've got to get used to that 100 square. So I'm going to ask you to put your finger on a nice one first of all. Can you put your finger on the number 12? Where is 12 on the 100 square? Pause the video if you want longer, but number 12 is here. One more than 11, there's 12. Can you put your finger on the number 16? It's a teen number, 16. Remember the teen numbers have a one in front. 16 is there, there is 16. One first, one lot of 10, and then six ones, 16. Can you put your finger on now? I'm gonna get a bit bigger. So you're gonna go further down the 100 square to the bigger numbers. Can you put your finger on the number 29? 29. Remember, if it's a 20 number, it has two lots of 10 in it, so it has a 2 in the first tens column. 29. These all have 2 in front. These are all the 20s. So 29 is here with 9 in the 1s column. 29. Can you put your finger on the number 47? 47. The 40s all have a 4 at the beginning, so here they all are, 47, boing, 47. Last one, I'm going to go super big. Can you put your, your finger on the number 93, 93? The 90s have a 9 in the 10s column, so a 9 lots of 10. 93, here are the 90s, there is 93 down that bottom row leading up to 100. Excellent work. Right, while we've got this out, let's do a bit of counting. I think we should count back in ones from 20. So not too far today. Counting backwards so the numbers are getting bigger or smaller as we count down. Smaller. And we're going to finish with zero, which would be here. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. It's counting backwards. Excellent. In ones, I'm going to flip this 
this around now and look at that how handy is that my months of the year are on the other side let's have a go at singing our months of the year song as we do not want to forget it as we talk about numbers this week so we have there's january february march and april may june July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Well done. Yell out to me what month your birthday is in. And can you tell me the month just before so that you can get excited? Okay, so if you said, and my birthday is in November, remember, so I would have called out the month before, going backwards around the circle, I would have called out October. Right, let's pop this over here. Now I want to look at our bonds to 10 chant again, like we started looking at yesterday. So I have my numbers here beside me. We're going to go through those words again. Don't worry if you can't remember them. I'm going to hold up the numbers. So we've got 0 and 10 are big, strong men lifting your weights. Remember, you can equally have big, strong women. But for this chant, we'll say big, strong men. So zero and ten are big, strong men. Lift those weights. Oh, I've lost one of my bonds to ten down here. Let me just grab it. And it's my next one. One and nine get along just fine. Two and eight are always late look at that watch they're always late two and eight you may have noticed and the reason why they're in that particular order not eight and three is because they rhyme eight and late three and seven don't make eleven because three and seven make ten four and six are in the mix because four and six and ten and five and five like to jump and jive five and five make ten so that is our bonds to ten chart excellent if you remembered any of those today now we are going to look at a uh, similar thing to what we did yesterday with our biscuit, uh, do doggy biscuits, but we're going to use coloured teddy bears today, okay? And we're also going to write the adding sentence that goes with our bonds to 10. Just as we did yesterday, you can use the chant that we've started learning, but also a fantastic thing that we have 10 of are our 10 fingers. They are our best friends this week, our fingers. Always 10 of them. They will always help us with our bonds to 10. Okay. So I have 10 teddies in my bowl. Let's just count them to make sure I've not done any tricky business. One, two, three. I'm just going to tilt the camera so you can see them. There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. There they all are. They're in twos. Look at that. They're standing in line in twos. I could count in twos a bit quicker. Two, four, six, eight, ten. They're also grouped, if you go long way, like a long sausage, they're also grouped in fives. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five in that group. One, two, three, four, five in that group. I've got two groups of five. I could count in fives even quicker. Five, ten. Look at that. Counted in fives. Two lots of five makes ten. Oh, super quick counting. So we know that I have ten teddies in my bowl today. So every answer we are making will have the answer of equals ten. Okay, every single one because we are dealing with bonds of ten. Okay, so I have, let's imagine these are pens today. All right, so these are pens, little um, cages. That doesn't sound so nice. Nice cages though, for my teddies. Okay, so we're going to the zoo to see some bears at the zoo and these are our little pens that the uh, teddies are going to be in. 
There are always going to be 10 teddies at this zoo. In cage one and cage two, all together, they will always make 10. Okay? So I'm going to put on my first cage. One, two. Yeah, actually I'm going to stop at two. Let's have two in cage one. So I've got two teddies in cage one. How many are going to go in cage two if the two cages added together will make ten? What are the number bonds of ten? Two and what make ten? They're always late. Two and something are always late. What do I add to two to make ten? What is its number bond, buddy? Let's use our hands if we can't remember the chart. So I've got two already on plate number one. So however many fingers I've got left will be what has to go on plate number two to make ten in total. I've got one, two, three on that hand, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight must be my answer to go on this plate. Let's see if that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is right. My bowl is empty. Let's write the adding sentence that matches what we've just done with our number bonds of 10 in our two pens and two cages. We had two in cage one. There's my number two. I'm adding these, okay? I'm adding them together to always make 10 today. So I've got two, add eight in pen number two. There's my eight. And they are going to equal, and these are bonds of 10. They're always going to add together to make 10. So there is my number sentence to match my two pens. Two add eight equals 10. Two and eight are always late. They make 10. They are bonds of 10. Fabulous. Let's do one more together here. And then I'm going to set you the challenge to find all the other possible bonds of 10 sentences that you could make. Okay. So let's put my 10, all of my 10 back in my bowl. Pen number one has got one, two, three, four. Four in pen number one. Okay, I got four in there. How many is going to go in pen number two to make 10 all together? Now, while you're having a think about it and using your fingers to help you, because I'm not going to do it for you this time, I'm going to be starting my adding sentence on my board. So, four in pen one. What am I going to add in pen number two to make ten in total? So, I've got my four. What am I going to add to it? What is the number bond buddy of four that's going to make ten? They're in the mix four and something up in the mix so it's going to rhyme with mix use those fingers it is going to be call out to the camera or show me your fingers if you said six you are right let's count them out one two three four five six six teddies in pen number two my bowl is empty so four add six equals ten. Four and six all together make ten. Four and six are in the mix because they equals, they make all together ten. So four add six equals ten. Now what I want to challenge you to do now is to have a go and have your own plates if you want to, okay? And have two of them because we're only ever adding two together. When we talk of bonds of 10, we're just talking about two single digit numbers. Or if you're doing zero and 10, obviously, then you will have a two digit number in there. But two numbers that add together to make 10. So you only need two plates because there's only two numbers you're adding together every time. So you're gonna have 10 items. Now I've got my plastic teddies. Yesterday I used biscuits. Maybe you could use tomatoes, sweets, pencils, anything you can, but as long as there's 10 of them and no more and no less because that's what we're adding to make this week is 10. So you can have your two plates and you can try all the different sentences. So we had four and six equals 10 and before that we had two, 
add eight equals 10. Now I want you to make a list like I have made here, and you'll probably need a bit of paper or a board, probably a bigger bit of paper than I've got as my board, and I want you to list all of the possible adding sentences that make 10, all of the possible bonds to 10. Now remember, with our four and six, so I'll take them out of the bowl now, but I could swap them around. So I could also have six and four. So I want you to try and make all of those combinations, even when you swap the numbers around, okay? So you can have two add eight, but if I swap them around and put eight first, you can have eight add two equals 10. So I want you to make all of the swapped round combinations on your list as well. See if you can get all of them, every single one. And how will you know you've got every single one? Have a think about that. So that's quite a challenge for you today. Find all of the possible adding number bond sentences to 10, all of the switched round ones as well. How do you know you found them all? Have you found them all? That's what I want to see on Tapestry for my class or tell an adult at home. Now let's tilt this up a bit to tell you about the stretch task I want you to try as well today. So you don't have to do this one if you feel like you've got plenty of things to do already, finding your whole list of bonds to 10, but this is your funky stretch task today. Because we are looking at numbers up to 100, and I want you to compare those numbers, and today in this stretch task we're talking about which ones are the bigger numbers, the larger numbers, the numbers that are worth more. Your 100 square might help you with this if you do struggle, okay? Remember the bigger numbers are the ones going down towards the bottom of your 100 square. This is your stretch challenge. Can you look at all of your picture books at home? And I want you to look through and see how many pages they've got. Now, in our literacy uh, lesson last week, we spoke about page numbers in information books written on the corner of each page. Now, you might be lucky enough that they've wrote them on your picture books at home, but sometimes they don't, so you might have to actually count the pages as well. Remember to count both sides of them, okay? But I want you to look at a few of your picture books at home. You don't have to get the whole library of your books at home, but pick a few. Look through them. Find the one with the most pages, so the biggest number of pages, the larger number, okay? When you've found that one, and you might have to do a bit of comparing, one might have 13 pages, and one might have 16 pages. So you've got to ask yourself, 13 or 16, which is the biggest number, okay? Then I want you to find the one with the biggest number, and then I want you to write down the title of the book, on a post-it note or on a little piece of paper and stick a bit of sticky tape to it because when you've wrote down the title and you'll find the title on the front of the book when you've wrote down the title and you can copy it it's quite easy I want you to then get your 100 square and stick it on your 100 square on the number of pages it had now if you've got a small one like this it's going to be tricky you're going to have to stick it and it's probably going to overhang a few but I just want you to identify the number of pages it had and stick it right on top of that number, okay? On my one, it's nice and big. I'd be able to stick it on quite easily. But that's what I want you to do. Going back as well to yesterday's lesson, I coloured in all of the, the, digit, the two digit numbers that when you added the two digits together, that made 10, okay? So they would be bonds of 10. I coloured them in on my 100 square and look at my pattern. I wonder if that's the pattern you got if you did this stretch task. And if you did, how would you describe that pattern? I would probably use the word that it is in a diagonal line. It's like a line, like a slide, like it's falling over. It's not straight down, it's not straight across. It is diagonal. And that might be how I describe my patterns. If you described it like that to one of your adults at home, well done. Give yourself a pat on the back for doing that task. Okay, so lots of work there today. Lots of work to do after the video, but I know you can do it. And I will see you tomorrow for another maths lesson. Bye-bye.